Hello, fellow hitchhikers. In this video, I'm going to showcase and feature one of my Axie teams, uh, a team that I named Why Not, because when I put it together, I thought, I thought to myself, why not? And then I made it one word and had a little bit of play with it. And I've actually encountered another team with the same, way, the same name, just they space it out like the sentence. Anyways, um, it's done quite well, and I want to show you why, and I'll do a couple battles and uh, just feature the logic behind the team and how it works. So this is how I had it originally set up, as I had this backliner as my sort of feature axis. It was one that I had bred, I was quite excited about. Actually, I bred all three of these. This, this last one, though, uh, I, I really wanted this double speak and I wanted this beast. But as a backliner, it did not do very well because it was generally encountering um, birds and fish. And I'm trying to use a beast card on a bird or a fish, and it, it made no sense. And so... Uh, the, the final card, though, this one down here that gains energy when attacking a buffed, uh, it does work well against fish because they're often buffed. So I switched them around just before I was giving up to, and going to try and sell all of them, and suddenly it started working really well. Because this one I'm loving as a backliner 85% of the time. It has Kataro so that it'll generate energy. And that's really important, but it generates against faster. So if I encounter a bird or a fish as a midliner or a backliner, especially as a backliner, one round, it's completely eliminated. And uh, I have the class advantage, so they do very little damage against me. I also have the gecko as the tail, and that significantly reduces, reduces their class advantage. So gecko reduces the, the bird and the fish attacks on me. The... Gain one energy with the Kataro is great. And then I also have, if they do their attack, um, they break my shield, I generate some cards. So usually for the last couple rounds, if I get to that point uh, that I'm going to need more than one round, I can generate a few cards that I'm looking for. So great backliner, not great against beasts. Beasts just go through these like nothing. Uh, and also not great against a, a, a plants or other reptiles. So I need to make sure I've eliminated their beast before I get to that. Um, what this midliner now became really good for is dealing with uh, poison teams. I can let my tank take a lot of poison, and I can uh, use this to get to, through their poison and then just debuff uh, after each, each attack. Um, the main strategy I try to use, I'm noticing a lot of people have that uh, carrot whatever on their uh, tanks and so they're trying to generate energy early in the game so i use double speak and the uh the beast card here in order to get through their uh get through their their uh, shields so i can attack without breaking the shields and not giving them the free energy that they're looking for um it's a little bit dependent on card draw because sometimes i just cannot get that double speak and so then I get really frustrated. Uh, but that is the strategy that I use. So I try to not draw cards at the beginning, sometimes three rounds to force, uh, force the game to give me the cards that I'm looking for. So I really rely on this tank to hold on. I like having the cattail. Uh, almost always in the second or third round, uh, people come in really hard with the beast. So hit me with four beast cards, and that'll generate four uh, four new cards, which will give me control with those two backliners. If I don't have lots of cards, I'm often in trouble because I'm just depending on card draw. Uh, the steel energy, I, I, I tend to be greedy and try and overuse it, and it ends up costing my tank. It's just a, a one or a two free energy that I can get out of that as a steel. So let's go try this team out in the arena and see how we're doing. It is almost the end of the season, ends in a couple hours, and I'm desperately trying to break the top 1,000 uh, with this team. Uh, my, my highest point actually was in the top 200. I think I got to 197 or something like that, just broke into that top 200, and then I started uh, losing. And I, I think now the advice is, if you lose two matches in a row, stop. <laughs> Either your strategy is not working or the meta um, of the teams that you're playing or whatever, where you're clustered in the group, uh, it doesn't work. So I've been taking that advice. If I lose two games in a row, I stop. 
Uh, sometimes I can only hold off for 20 minutes or so, but it seems to be it seems to be good advice. All right, let's go try this out in the arena. So I got a pretty good draw. I have the ability to steal on the first round. It's kind of 50-50 whether or not people steal in the first round. When I look at their tank, it's a pretty standard tank. They can steal, they can heal, and they also have the carrot hammer. So they're going to, if they have the cards, they're going to play the carrot hammer. I prefer just having a, uh, a, a steal and a corn because it's free. Um, otherwise, this kind of move sometimes gives them free energy. I, since I'm going to be attacking so high, I, I often will throw in more attack cards, but they got that self-heal. Hmm. Well, let's try it. Oh, good. They didn't play anything. So now it's critical that I don't uh, break their shield uh, on this round because they're going to play their carrots and try and get some free shield. So I'll do double speak with an attack of 90, double speak with an attack of 100. I'll be able to get past their shields. See, and they were hoping that I would break the shields and that they would get two energy. They did steal one of mine, but for the amount of damage I did, I'm okay with that. Uh, my, my favorite uh, event that happens is when people underestimate double speak and they shield up really high a whole bunch of cards and I'm able to just uh, get them with a with a sleep. So now is when they usually come in hard uh, when they're with their beast. Uh, which they probably will, and they'll probably do a self-heal. So I wish I had a cattail on my beast so that I could generate a whole bunch of cards. I don't have that. Uh, I think I'm going to do that, and I'll do a shield and see what happens. He didn't self-heal, so I think that was a mistake on their part. And they're not going to be able to finish my tank. Oh, he will finish my tank. So I guess it was worth it. So I check the speed on the beast. They're almost always 41 or 43 or higher. And as long as they're faster than uh, my uh, reptile, I'm going to be able to generate some energy on them. So, And he's going to try, probably try and destroy. So free 50 shield there. And I'll just do a couple attacks to pick away. And what I like about this is it like puts my energy into a storage bank. So my energy can sit there as a card. He's going to try and destroy. He doesn't destroy anything. He does use the standard uh, cotton tail to get a free energy. And now I can get my energy back that I put into the bank. <laughs> I like it better when I have two Kataros. Uh, forces my hand a little bit. Now here's where card counting helps. Just played two energy destroys. Probably not in a position. Probably didn't redraw those energies unless uh, they're totally full on their cards. Uh, in which case I can assume they're not going to be able to destroy an energy. I don't actually care too much about the energy destroy because it costs them an energy to destroy my energy. So it keeps it pretty level playing field. Uh, I think um, I'm going to play these three. I'm really tempted to play this beast. But often they destroy my... Uh, oh, I see he's playing first, so I'll definitely play it. Uh, sometimes that uh, middle reptile of mine is too slow. And then I go on and put a bunch of cards, and then they destroy it, and uh, I lose that card play. Yeah, this chomp is so hard for me to get past with my reptile. It, it's not looking good for me. If I if I can't generate some energy, I wish I had, was able to play two guitaros there, so that I had four energy going into this last battle. I'm probably going to lose. What's the speed on this? 41. I have a hope. So I'll just play... That'll probably put a chomp on me. I'll just play that. They're going to come in. They're going to put... Oh, why did I do that? Of course, they're going to put chomp on me. I'm going to end up have wasting that card. Uh, yeah. This is uh, probably going to be a losing situation here. Tempted just to surrender. I don't think there's any point. Okay. They'll, they'll beat me. That was a mistake that cost me the game. Let's try another match. Another reptile backliner with chomp. I'm ranked too high. I need a I need a 
team that can handle uh, these kinds of teams. Oh, well, let's do the match. Let's see what happens. Uh, they don't really have, oh, they have a bunch of beast cards on there. And rice, of course, so they're going to try and steal. Um, I'll play this up so at least if they do a beast attack, I can get some cards out of the deal. Yeah, saw that coming. Hoped it wouldn't happen, but... So when they have the self-heal, he's probably going to play it, or she's going to probably play it this round, so it'll undo any damage that I do. Let's just hope I can do a double steal. See, they don't have, now that they've already played those two rice, oh, they're going to come in hard and hit me hard. Maybe a mistake, because they might end up destroying my plant, in which case those three cards are a loss. Oh, they're energy greedy. We may have turned this game back around. Now they're going to come in hard and uh, destroy my plant. So I'll just throw the cattail up to try and generate some cards. And they're probably going to anticipate a big attack, shield up, and uh, self-heal. So I'm going to just play nothing. Oh, they're doing the same thing. I'm going to leave my plant defenseless. And... See if I can get past their shields. You know what I almost should have done? Seeing that they're only at 392. One, two. That wouldn't have been enough. And say I should have almost tried to, tried to fully attack with my midliner. And then use my Kateros on their second, on their fish. But I don't think I would have got through their plant. Boy, they really beefed up their plant. They were counting on winning with it. Oh, yes. Plant holds on. Oh, they're still going to be able to self-heal. That's frustrating. Yeah. I almost should have not attacked. And waited one more round. And no sleep. Well, Beast on Plant is pretty good. This one gives me some shields. Another shield. Debuff. All right, let's hope it's enough. And if I get past... I'll hit their fish. Yeah, you get a 20% increase on getting a critical with that uh, beast card of mine, uh, the branch charge, if you play in combo or in chain with the plant. And uh, so it often um, works out that it is in combo or chain with the plant. It doesn't often go off, though. <laughs> okay, so I'll just shield up here. He's been saving, she's been, he or she's been saving their energy. So I'm getting ready for a big attack on that uh, midliner. I'll play those two to be able to give me four energy for the next attack. So they're going defensive. I need to start generating a whole bunch of energy because I'm going to have a hard time getting past this reptile. Yeah. The hard thing about Chomp is that when they play it first, it actually allows the next attack to go through your shields. So they're going to be able to go Chomp and then Bird or this uh, uh, Tiny Swing because we're past round four. They have much for, yeah, they have quite a few Beast cards. That's probably why they played those shields last time and they were trying to save up so they can play four of these Beast cards. Let me play some Rice. Uh, are they going to get past? I think I'm just going to go all in and hope. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't want him to steal any energy, but I knew that they were going to probably end up destroying my character. Oh, yes, two cards. I'll take that. I really needed some more Katero cards coming up. Very unlikely I'm going to win this. They can't steal any, any of my energy. They're probably just going to chomp me anyways. So let's see if I can survive a couple rounds and have some energy. So they're definitely going to chomp me, which means I'm only going to be able to attack with three. 
if I don't play any cards, two, four, six, eight, I have no more to draw. So that would allow me to go two rounds with four. Uh, but I'll be going into Blood Moon. But they might be low on shields. Let's not play. Let's see what happens. So they would have got through my shields anyway. So what would be the point, right? Their attacks would go through the shields. Now, depending on their cards, they... Uh, I don't know if they were filled up on cards or not. They might not have the chomp. So now is where I go. Oh, wait, this is faster. Oh, I should be, I should have been playing my Kataros. Another mistake. All right, let's see if that's enough to survive this round. Oh, yeah, he's full up on cards. So he's going to keep getting the same three cards. And they're going right through my shield. Yeah, so... Sorry, folks. I was hoping to be able to show you show you this team win a couple times, but uh, just losing. Let's do one more match. I know the rule is if you lose two in a row, it's time to stop playing because you're with a different meta. And I think in part of it's because everyone's trying to get that high ranking, so all the heavy teams are out playing. Because that those teams, both those teams that we played are um, definite tournament player kind of teams they have the aquatic as their dps they have uh, reptile with chomp as their backliner and uh an energy generating tank at the front i don't have the money to buy that team oh okay two fish i have a hope all right i'm not gonna be able to generate any energy They've got a self-heal, so I need to stack up some energy. Are they even stealing? I don't see any stealing. I look at their mouths. I look for that little straight edge mouth. They have no stealing, lots of healing. So for a team like this, I just they and they have no back doors. Oh, no back doors. They're just they're relying on healing all of their teams. So I need to stack up a bunch of energy so that I can rely on just wiping through their their character one at a time their axie so go ahead attack my tank see they wanted me to hit them and generate some energy uh put this up they even have any beast no beast no beast no beast or bug yeah it's beast bug or mech so there's almost no point in having that i'm going to keep that down to try and force uh some some of these double speak to be drawn on the next round. Well, it's free shield. And he's probably going to get killed anyways. There's the last one. Now, so I'm not going to play the energy steal. Come on, survive. Yes. All I just needed to survive there. That way the second Axie that was playing wouldn't uh, do damage to my midliner. Still no double speak. All right, well, it's time to clean up that first one. One, two, three, four, five. I think I need one more. Yeah. If they shield up anyways. So they've give, I've given them enough time, they're probably going to get some free energy out of this. Looks like only one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need that second one. Hard to know how much shield they would have. Okay, 100 shield. Still no double speak. I don't think since the beginning of the game have I drawn uh, the ability to sleep. Oh, well, I at least can get uh, some energy back from what I play. And hopefully this is enough to get rid of that fish. Oh, oh I should have anticipated a big shield. It's interesting that they're playing these uh, cell fields. I guess they're just trying to do an all-out attack, and it worked. A lucky critical. Not enough, though. I'm not too worried. I have enough. I only need to have, really, four energy for that last round. So even though this is a little bit excessive 
this assures that I'm going to still have four energy for the last round. If they attack and break my shield, they'll generate a card, which hopefully will be Kotaro. And if they don't, I still have enough energy, so I'm not worried about it. So a little bit wasteful, but I had lots to spend. I'm going to try and self-heal and hit hard, probably with all these, these big cards, because I haven't played that much. So, so do I go for the... Well, Kotaro first anyways, because I'm going to have to play one of them. Generate me new cards. And I think I'm going to go for the 2 over 100, because it has the shields. This is going to hurt, but it should win. Oh, I only played 2. Well, that was a mistake. And no. One more round, but I got the one Kotaro off. So I have three. So even if they hit me with four now, I think I'll be okay. I'll double though. I'm just going to shield up. I'll shield and reduce. So let's watch how much damage they do. 110, and they only do 96, so 15%. So those two cards did not stack. Or did they? Because it's 15% uh, for matching the class. Oh, but they lost 15% because they're going against the beast. Yeah, so they didn't stack. There, I showed you a victory. <laughs> what did I earn? 9 SLP. So that is my Axie feature team uh, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, love any feedback down below on gameplay or strategies or just general comments. That would be appreciated. Thank you very much.